look at how to use FX Equation with Moodle. To begin, we need to actually have our Moodle open. And here I've got a particular chapter all set to uh, edit. I also need to have FX Equation open at the same time. So once I've got both of those open, I need to set up FX Equation. So I need to tell it that I'm targeting LaTeX or LaTeX, depending on where you grew up. So we're targeting LaTeX and I need to go back to Moodle and show the advanced buttons because I need to create an equation. So I call up the equation editor, go back to FX equation and start typing my equation. Once I'm happy with my equation, click on the green check mark and go to the Moodle Equation Editor and paste. So there's my equation and it's showing me the preview underneath and once I'm happy with that I save my equation and it appears in the editor as latex and but I can if I stop editing oh, sorry if I save the changes that's now in my equation or in my chapter as an equation FX equation to Moodle is a one-way process. You can't edit that equation back in FX equation. If you need to change the equation, you either need to edit the original latex or you need to recreate the equation from within FX equation. Using FX equation with Moodle operates exactly the same way on Windows and Mac machines.